The bodies of three men have been recovered at Brannan Island. The men saved a child from drowning, but sadly they did not survive. ABC 10's Kurt Rivera has more. It was a desperate scene Sunday afternoon after a day of fun turned into a horrible tragedy. And then I started to fight for my life, struggling too. Juan Cabrera says it was a day of fishing with family and friends along the Sacramento River. According to a state parks ranger, that's when an eight-year-old boy waiting in the water next to a small beach suddenly got pulled away. He wasn't wearing a life jacket. Cabrera says one by one, each man dove into the river trying to save the child. But he says high winds and a strong current took them under. And I just grabbed the kids and tried to push away from the water. But when I turn around, I can see one guy looking at me and disappear. And then I turn around and see my cousin the same thing. The water dragging him inside and they look at me and I can do nothing because I tried to survive myself. While he was able to rescue the child, his cousin, 57-year-old Edwin Rivas, 40-year-old Danilo Solazano, and 22-year-old Edwin Perez all drowned. All were construction workers from Oakland, but all originally from Guatemala. But at least we say they are kids. State Park Sergeant Cameron Morrison, who assisted in trying to find the men, says the waterways in the Delta can be deceiving. Even though the river might look like it's pretty safe, the current is very strong. Uh, you just don't see it from the waterway or on the edge of the water, but the current is really moving through there. The life's too short. We have to enjoy the life every second. Just heartbreaking story. Officials say the area is very dangerous. The center portion of Brandon Island is 40 feet deep with cold and fast moving water.